Hi guys, it's Matthew here, the Kiwi Kochi from the Skibbering Food Company. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make my beautiful curry. It's a one pot wonder, and it's all in the preparation, and then basically everything gets put into the pot, and you have a curry at the end of it. So listen guys, follow the recipe, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you at the end of the video. Okay guys, you've seen the ingredients, okay? You just get that all prepared. And these are the spices that we use, okay? Now these were brought just from a local store in Skibbering today called the uh, Spice Shop. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna start with the turmeric, and you just roughly get two teaspoons of each. This is the coriander powder. This is your uh, chili powder curry powder, paprika, roughly guys, and you can use cumin powder, but I've got cumin seeds, okay? And that's your spice mix that we're using for this recipe. Okay guys, so we've got our saucepan here. Um, all our ingredients is ready. Okay, and this is a very easy dish from here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil, nothing too much. And the first thing I'm going to put in is my onions and my garlic and my spices. Now my spice mix, okay, needs to go in early because I need to cook it out and to get that lovely flavour over everything, okay? As you can see, we're just cooking it out. There's only a little bit of oil to get it going, guys, okay? So we're really trying to just get all those lovely curry flavors activated and getting it cooked, okay? So we're just gonna stir this. We're just getting the flavors to come out of the actual, um, spices and to infuse all the flavor into it. Now the next thing is everything literally goes into the pot. We've got our chicken to go in. We've got our mushrooms. We're just gonna give that a stir. Now there's a lot of water that comes out of the onions as well. Okay, so I don't put any water or anything else in, but what I do put in after I give it a stir is my can of coconut cream. And basically guys, that's it. And we'll see you back here in about 40 minutes where I'll show you almost the finished product. This here is the fresh coriander but the fresh coriander stem which holds a lot of flavor so what i like to do is cut them up small and i also add that for extra flavor into the curry okay guys after about 20 minutes okay we get we get this lovely uh curry and what we're going to do is just add a little bit of bouillon okay so that's your chicken bouillon Okay, so I'm just going to throw that in there. Break it up. We're just going to stir that in. Now you'll notice, lovely sauce, but it's a bit thin. So what I do, is I add a bit of corn flour, just to thicken the sauce to give it a bit of body. And of course guys, I didn't want to mention this till the end, but this is also gluten free. This, uh, this curry of mine, okay? And it's also, because we use coconut cream, we don't use any, uh, it's dairy free as well. So there we go, we've just added that in and it's so piping hot that it starts to thicken and it just gives it a little bit extra body. 
okay? Okay, just before we serve, we're just gonna throw off this lovely chopped coriander through the curry. And we're gonna turn the, turn the uh, curry off now. Okay guys, so we're about to serve this. This is the completed um, curry. We've got our bowl of rice. I'm just gonna... Okay. Clean it up a bit there. And just maybe a bit of basil on it and a bit more coriander. Okay. And there we have my chicken curry that I love to cook quite often. So there you go guys, this is a banger rubber curry. Just to remind you it's dairy and gluten free as well. Uh, easy to cook, but the great thing is yes you have to prep up a little bit for it, but you can literally put it all in a pot, walk away, watch Home and Away, Shortland Street or Fair City, or whatever you want to do and come back, and there it's ready for the whole family. Also, if you want it for days on end, it'll keep in the fridge and you just heat it up. So listen guys, thanks very much for watching, give it a go and don't forget to subscribe and we'll all see you soon. Thanks guys.